Hello everyone, I hope you're well out there and thank you for tuning in to our PictoChat series. My name is Wilson and I'm a project specialist with PictoChat and I'll be your host for today's PictoChat. This is a series of chats with leaders and entrepreneurs who share their knowledge and experience in using PictoChat. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Jamie Barkin, a high school English and AP literature teacher at Witten High School. Jamie is an avid user of PictoChat since 2016 and I'm excited to be speaking with her today. Hello, Jamie, and welcome to our Picture Chat. How are you doing over there? Hey, Wilson. Thanks so much for having me. I'm doing great today. How are you? I'm doing well. It's such a delight to have you here with us today. I'm so excited to be speaking with you. But before we begin our Picture Chat, I'm sure our audience would love to know you better. So perhaps you could introduce yourself further and let us know how you got started in the education field and what led to your role today at Wheaton High School. Absolutely. So um, I started teaching, I started student teaching in 2015. Um, I had worked in marketing for a, like a big corporate company, um, a major insurance company. And so I understood how important visuals were. And I also have ADHD. So I'm a very visual learner. And when I discovered PictoChart through my mentor teacher who used it, he introduced it to students actually to use, um, I was really struck by just how seamless everything looked. I mean, he had, you know, ninth graders putting together these presentations that looked like TED Talks. So I started using them, and in the time that I've used you guys, um, you have developed all kinds of new features that have just made it even more versatile and better for me to use in my classroom. Um, so I started teaching at Wheaton High School, which is in Maryland, back in 2016, and my kids have always commented on my slides, and so have my colleagues. So pick to chart has just sort of become a natural part of what I do because the response has always been positive. Well, thanks for being such an advocate of picture chart and okay. of course i would love to also share like your website uh, that you shared with us with our audience in the description for the video so uh, we'll leave that for you to check it out but go and check out jamie's work because it's amazing with what she's doing in her class uh, through picture chart well that's incredible and i'm curious to also know this question like you mentioned it a bit but how did you first discover uh, picture chart you mentioned it was it back in 2016 20 it was between 2015 and 2016 so um, we had a specific AP class that I was observing, and these kids do a research project for the whole year, and they have to create infographics. And really, when you think about software that's free and online that allows you to create infographics, there's not a lot. I mean, now there's a couple of sites, but back then it was really just Google Slides, which you can't make a good-looking infographic on a Google Slide. You can't. It's The format doesn't work, where... PictoChart had the ability to change the size of the blocks. It had the ability to, you know, manipulate things in ways where they could really make it their own, but it also had a template they could work from. So you're not asking a 16-year-old kid to put something together that looks really professional. Uh, so I discovered it then, and I've pretty much been hooked ever since. So, <laughs> yeah. Nice. I love your story and how you got started at PictoChart. You. Well, you're an educator yourself. And I'd like to know this, like, why do you think visual communication is so important in your field in education? So I think oftentimes with education, right, we talk about how there are different types of learners. And that is, like, we know that. Research has proven that. Well, I have, like I said, ADHD. I was an easily distracted kid. I'm very visual. If something is visually engaging, I will pay attention. And I realize, you know, if I make these slides look really cool or if I theme them, then at least if they're getting distracted, it's with the material for class. So that was kind of where I started with it was let's see what happens. And I just, it's so much more engaging to look at something that's fun to look at. It really is. Uh, so it's made a huge difference in that regard, I think, for kids. It just gets that buy-in where they're like, ooh, this is cool. All right, let's see what this is. Yeah, I can definitely relate to that because I remember even like back in college, when I see a beautiful presentation by one of my educators, no, I'm struck in awe by it. Like, oh, I, I want to hear from you. Exactly. So I totally can see why you're saying that. Absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. So you've been using PictoChart since 2016, mm -hmm. right? Uh, perhaps you could also share with us how has PictoChart or visual communication in general benefited um, your work at Wheaton High School? So what it's really done, I think, in a lot of my classes, because uh, I teach ninth graders and 12th graders, right? So when there are more difficult concepts or when we're doing something that's just not that interesting, like they're taking notes, it gets the kids to stay more engaged for a longer period of time. Plus, 
with the way you all have your interface set up, I can hyperlink things. I can, you know, make things function in different ways. So even if I'm not there, even if I have a substitute, everything that they need can be in one infographic. And I actually have used that a lot uh, when I'm out for like sickness and things like that. I can just put everything in an infographic from Pictochart and the kids are able to access it all. And again, it's an easy visual path to follow. And I think that's important. And when you're mentioning that, it means you share the link of the infographic with them. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. So that they can access it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. And it's amazing to see how you're using that. Well, I'm sure you've created a lot of visuals uh, using Pictochart. I've seen it on your website as well. But if you can narrow it down, what do you think is like perhaps your most successful or your most proudest creation with Pictochart? That's a hard one. Um, there are a couple of different ones that I've made where I took templates that you all had or I was somehow inspired by things that you had put together and then significantly altered them or if I needed like extra slides right I would take that background and that template that you used and then you know go on a website and find like a png and drop it in so I've made ones that are like little red riding hood themed and fairy tale themed I mean that's what I love and you all have the animated graphics you have um the black and white ones, you have color ones, like I can do pretty much anything I need to do. So that's a really hard question, Wilson. Um, the one that's probably been the most successful for me is um, I had a lesson that I did on logical uh, fallacies, which for the freshmen can be a very difficult topic, but it was easier for them to understand because I could quite literally format it like a notebook because of the templates and then they'd know exactly what to write down. So that's, frankly, for me, that's been the easiest because kids who don't know how to take notes, boom, it's right there. They know exactly what to write down. Yeah, it's interesting to see how you're using that. And I love how you share that you also like kind of mix and have the flexibility to create. And that's what we want to do with Picture Chat. We just want to inspire you all to be able to be creative. So it's not too rigid by just using our templates. You can also start from yeah. a blank template, you know, if you're inspired by somewhere else. So. Well, thank you for sharing that and uh, what you've done with Pictoshot. I also would like to hear from you because you have been using Pictoshot for many years and you've tapped into the power of visual communication yeah. as an educator yourself. So if you are speaking to an educator today and you could offer them like the three most important tips, what would you give to them? So what I would say is one, be as clear as possible. <laughs> um, two, Never be afraid that you are, this is specifically with teachers, never be afraid that you are over explaining. Like on a lot of my slides, I will actually use a font that looks like handwriting and that doodle arrow that you all have, the icon, and I'll put write this down on a slide so they know exactly what to write. And my last piece of advice would be recognize the power in letting the kids see a bit of who you are through those visuals you know, make visuals that are about things that you like and that you enjoy and let them see mm. that piece of you through it. I like the second tip you mentioned, which is over-communicate. Yes. And I think it's so important in this time and age. Absolutely. It's well, so uh, <laughs> finally, to wrap up, yeah. just a quick one is also to, would you mind sharing with us like, what is your favorite feature about PictureTrack? I really like how you can manipulate the formats. Like I could start with an infographic and I can make it slide size if I need to alter it. Cause that's not something that a lot of other softwares offer, you know, kind of a lot of the time, if you've started down one road, you're sort of boxed in. Whereas with Pictochart, I can mm -hmm. immediately just go to customize, change the size of the blocks. And then all of a sudden it's exactly what I needed. So I love that. So customization is perhaps <laughs> like one of your top feature about picture chat oh, for sure and admittedly there's one feature i want to use but i haven't yet because one of my close mm -hmm. uh, girlfriends who's also a colleague of mine doesn't work in my school anymore um i want to use the teams feature where we can work on the same document at the same time so yes. i have to test that one out because that's a newer feature and i'm really excited about it i hope you enjoy that if you've used like google drive you kind of yeah. know how it works right exactly so we're just bringing in into visual communication and we've seen like teams using it and it's yeah. been so effective for them. Well, and I can have my students use it too. Yes, if they can leave a comment on a particular part of it, ask you any questions, and also they can tag one another. So That's yeah, that could be a helpful one. Yeah. Well, it was truly a pleasure to be speaking with you in this picture chat, Jamie. Thank you for sharing your inspiring story with us today and also for being such a great advocate of picture chat and visual communication in the education field. 
So if you're listening to this and you'd like to get connected with Jamie or myself, feel free to connect with us on LinkedIn as shown in the video description. And if you enjoyed this episode, then we have many other episodes from leaders and entrepreneurs who share their inspiring stories with us today. So feel free to check that out as well. And that's the end of our picture chat today. And goodbye. Thank you so much, Wilson.